Sean Yates, this time at the world's Maastricht start, start town, but it finishes on the same circuit as Amstel Gold. We've got a strong team, or I should say you've got a strong team. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, Cav is, is um, his last race as world champion, you know, so, you know, it's, it's 12 months on from Copenhagen, different kind of course, as you say, hilly course, Amstel Gold country. Um, we've got a strong team, but obviously it's been a really busy year for the team um, with, with, the, with the tour and all the other victories, and then of course the Olympic game, big focus. So I think um, you know, is it going to be a quiet one? It's going to be possibly. That's not to say we're not going out, you know, with, with hopes of, of performing, and we set we set the sort out, you know, and, um, and the boys will try for sure. It's going to be a hard race, hopefully exciting race, you know, for the TV for the spectators, and you know, it's it's not unknown that. So, uh, a non favourite could win. Obviously, they are very strong nations like Spain, and uh, you know, compared to them, we are not in the same league on paper. But you know, oh, what is that plainly because of, like, the guys have got, they've had a great season, they've got the mouths in the legs, because it does look a solid team. Yeah, I mean, it is a solid team. But as I said, it's been a really, really heavy yeah, year. The guys have been going flat out since you know, December last year, and with those major <laughs> objectives, you know, that have been um, ticked off, I think they will feel a little bit tired. But that's not to say, as I said, they will get in there and give it their best shot. So, what's it been like for you at the DS at the tour since the tour with, with the and the Olympics? Well, to be honest, I've not done a lot of races since the tour. I did the Olympic behind Bradley, and that was a, that was a fantastic experience. Yeah, win that gold medal with Bradley, and the people, the spectators, and the whole ambiance—not only around the cycling event, but whole, you know, in the press, on the TV, obviously, and in the general public, in the train station on the way up to London. You know, it was it was superb. So it's been it's been and you know, everyone been up there on cloud a cloud nine. Um, and now we're back down here on Earth in Masterleagues, you know. But I think it's a case of going, getting through the year as best we can, to be honest. Um, if we're leading the classments, you know, the, the World Tour, team classification, Brad is number one, this, that, and the other. So I think we cannot complain about the year, and it's not possible. And we don't want to, in my opinion, we shouldn't try and win everything. Yeah, next year I think the Worlds will be a ma yeah, bigger, much bigger focus. It's in uh, in Italy next year, isn't it? The, um, yeah, I think um, it's, we've seen that the Team Time Trial example is an exciting event, and that we will target that. I think Bradley would like to, and Chris Room target the individual time chart and the road, you know, the road race, which is also a very hard circuit. We won one flat Worlds with Cav last year in Copenhagen. It's got I a 4K climb in it yes, next year, hasn't it? It'll be nice to win a hilly world, you know, so I think next year, obviously, the tour is a focus, the Giro is a focus, and the world championships. Well, this year's been the year of the sideburns. Next year, I've heard there's rumours circulating that there's a certain new uh, clothing sponsor, beginning with an R. I don't know if it's been released yet, but I'm it's guessing. Been released, it's oh, been it has? Released, yes. So, Rafa sponsoring, they're renowned for being old school. So, will there be handlebar moustaches obligatory Oblig for the team? I have not um, seen the rule book yet for next year, but <laughs> it fits in. It fits in, yes. No, I think yeah, obviously, yeah, we're gonna look good. We always look good, and hopefully we wrap up just look a little bit better. So you know, I think we've always had a great response in Adidas. Yeah. And yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'll let you. Tell the lads what to do. We, do, we yeah. had a team meeting last night, so yeah. We know it's what, coffee time in there, is it? Time, chill out time, get ready for sign on time. You can't give us any little hints or tips what's going to happen next year? Next any year? Any exclusives? Um, well, not really. Yeah, obviously, we had to wait and see the, the, the tour route, the Giro route. We see that the Giro has a stage for yeah. the the um, Galibier, which will be exciting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether they're going to have you know 100k of time trial meals as well. So you know, maybe maybe rally wise is you. I don't know. Any new riders signed for next year? You got? Um... Well, John has been a lot. Obviously, it's, um, you know, I think yeah. there's been a number of releases regarding our signings. Um, Cataldo, um, Gabriel Rash, Jonathan Tian Lock. Yeah, because he's uh, had so... an awesome season, hasn't he? For yes. riding for a continental yes, team. Yes, so obviously, yeah. 
it's a big step up. It will be a big step up. Yeah, this will today will be his biggest ever race by far. So we we'll shall see how he fares. Is it a te is it a leg tester for him today? Is it to see, or is it? A you know, I don't. We can't. We can't. We can't um, judge his future on today's result. You know, um, but obviously he has had good. He is in good form, and this suit. This course does suit him. So we shall see. Because you've got a climbing style reminiscent of uh, a certain Spaniard. It's punchy, it's punchy. Yeah. And today's a punchy circuit, you know, so after the distances against him, that he's never ridden this far before or against his quality of fuel. So, but, you know. And who's your money on then? Last little bit. Um, well, you know, I, I want um, one of our guys about this. Steve Cummins is going well. Yeah. You know, so. Stated of well, eh? Stated of well, so he's up for today. Okay, so the rough year, and it's not ideal, he's not a top, top nick, but he's you know, getting there, so. My tip for today, I don't know, um, I'm going with Edvald Bosnagen to keep the rainbow jersey within Sky. I reckon, yeah, there's him, Gerrans I think will be a secret yes. one. Anyway, people don't want to know mine. Okay, But there are lots of Aussie outsiders, uh, uh, lots of favourites, sorry. Yeah, so hopefully, as I said, it will be an interesting race for the TV and the spectators and hopefully the rain will stay away and then we'll get, have a great day. Fingers crossed. Okay, thank you ever so much no again. Cheers. Take care. Bye. -bye.